Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Yamaha YS109 soundbar. So the soundbar has lots of features so I'll open up the box and I'll show you what's inside and then I'll talk about uh, some of the features and about the audio quality and how whether it is difficult or easy to go through the setup process. So let's take a look at the box first. So the box looks like very simple. Uh, there's no fancy packaging or fancy uh, pictures. And uh, that's how Yamaha kept the cost very low of this product. So we'll open up the box and we'll take a look at uh, what's inside and what comes with it. Once I open the box, you can see that, you know, there's uh, nothing much inside except the soundbar and some uh, cables, which is right here. And then there's the remote, which is right here. And then looks like there's the instruction manual, which is right here. And some other uh, cables or attachments right here. So I'll take these out one by one and then uh, we'll look at it, uh, you know, what comes. With the sound box after opening the box this is all we got uh, a manual remote control optical audio cable and a power cable they haven't provided any hdmi cable and uh, this is the sound box and this is the sound box and you can see that this is a very slim profile and it looks very uh you know cute and slim so there's not uh, it's not heavy very lightweight I can lift it even with one hand and then uh, we'll take a look on the back of the sound bar. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don. I've had a few days to try and test uh, the Yamaha soundbar Yamaha YS109 and I'm going to give you uh, some insights on uh, the sound quality and uh, the ease of uh, you know the re remote control and other aspects so the remote control actually is very uh, easy to use uh, you can see that you know the operation is fairly simple so it has uh, uh, HDMI TV Bluetooth and net uh, output and actually you can connect this device to Wi-Fi and uh, there's an option which is the uh, clear uh, voice uh, right here so what it does that you know if you want to hear the voice uh, distinctively than other elements of music for example like you know a news uh, or uh, a concert someone is talking or anything then pressing this button makes the voice clearer uh, clearer so that's a very good feature and uh, the remote control is very slim and small and easy to use so there's no complaint about that uh, so I'm just leave it here uh, in terms of the music quality, uh, the sound quality is really very good, uh, especially I like uh, the surround sound. So basically it has two different types of surround sound, 3D sound and regular surround sound. So what it hap what happens is that when you uh, play surround sound, then uh, you know the sound comes not only from horizontal directions but also from varying heights. Uh, so there is like you know Twitter or something inside which uh, projects the sound upward, makes it possible to hear the sound from various angles and that makes uh, you know sound more realistic and uh, this feature is very helpful especially when you are uh, watching a movie I didn't uh, get the subwoofer for this product uh, because I didn't want to go through the hassle of setting up the subwoofer and uh, like you know uh, and another piece of uh, equipment so I'm happy with the just uh, this piece the problem I have uh, with this uh, soundbar is that you know the menu system which is uh, right here it's really tiny and it's very hard to see so even if you're close and at night uh, you couldn't like you know tell uh, what menu option or what it is playing so you have to just kind of guess and uh, that this thing I don't like uh, they should have put it a display or LCD display uh, you know uh, with the bold letters or a display screen uh, for menu system then it would have been a much easier and the other problem I have is that because these like you know uh, written these uh, features or these options are written so tiny that even you cannot read if you're standing so you have to kind of like you know sit and come very close to you so if you look very carefully uh, you, you will not be even able to see uh, because it's like you know too small for the camera to catch it uh, up and uh, that's another you know problem so this section is where they should have you know improved it 
uh, but the other section uh, the other everything else except this part actually I have uh, nothing to complain about uh, the sound quality is uh, really outstanding but you have to keep in mind uh, you know the price because uh, this is a an, an entry level product and what the price and the features you're up to getting uh, especially the uh, 3d sound and DTS virtual X and stereo sound so everything and plus Alexa is included here so uh, you, ha you can have Alexa here uh, you know giving you all the information you need from Alexa as well so let's try Alexa here Alexa what is the weather now in Toronto it's two degrees Celsius with cloudy skies today you can look for dreary weather with a high of three degrees and a low of minus nine degrees so you can see that you know I gave this Alexa British accent or Australian accent as to you know differentiate this than other Alexa I have so let's try a music uh, probably the camera uh, audio system is not going to be able to pick up uh, you know the richness of the music but still you know it doesn't hurt to try so here is something you know I want you to listen So to sum it up, uh, the quality of the sound and the quality of the product itself, everything is really uh, good. Uh, there's nothing to complain about. And uh, you know the price, uh, because this is an entry level product, uh, you're, uh, what you're paying, uh, you're getting much more than that. Uh, and uh, Yamaha always makes you know, good uh, sound products. And uh, this uh, review is not an affiliated or paid review. All my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. And the only uh, complaint I have about this product is the display option, which I showed you. It's really tiny and you know difficult to see. So you, you're going to kind of have to guess when you press it on the remote. And so that's uh, basically it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. Uh, there will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly.